नमस्ते आई एम अनिमेश को काटे वी बोर्ड स्टडी इन एयर फोर्स स्कूल विमान नगर पुणे इन आर स्कूल आर टीचर्स इंट्रोड्यूस डस टू अटल टिंकरिंग लैब दे टोल्ड अस टू फाइंड द प्रॉब्लम इन आर हाउस होल्ड एंड थिंक ऑफ एन इनोवेटिव सॉल्यूशन टू दिस प्रॉब्लम वी केम अप विद टू प्रॉब्लम फर्स्टली वी व्हेन वी लुक्ड अराउंड आर हाउस वी फाउंड दैट देयर आर नोटबुक्स लाइंग अराउंड एवरीवेयर we don't want to give them to the kabadi wala or burn them as we consider them as vidya mata so what should we do and this problem is not limited to our house every student generate five to 10 notebooks every year so what if we could use this notebooks and make something innovative the second problem was we keep buying plastic pens every year since we can't we can't find compatible refills to these pens we end up buying more and more plastic pens this end ends in heaps of pens found in every household these are very harmful to the environment as they will eventually end up in landfills and will not biodegrade so what if we could find an eco friendly replacement to plastic that will biodegrade and will be very cheap so this led us to the idea that if we could somehow convert this old notebooks into a material that we could make pens this gave us the idea of tulika the eco friendly pen now i will show we will show you the process from which we made this pen the first step is to shred the paper into thin long strips we enjoyed this very much next step is to immerse the shredded paper into sufficient amount of water and keep it aside for 3 to 4 days four days ago we cut the paper and drown them in the water now see it looks like this it becomes soft and smooth but we have to mash it more so aniket will churn this in the mixer now as you can see this is our paper mache made from our old used notebooks now i am going to churn this but it is still not smooth enough so now we are going to make paper mache dough for that i'll take one spoon of paper mache triple the quantity in corn flour so now we have taken three spoons of corn flour we are going to take half half spoon of vinegar you can choose any kind of vinegar we call until it becomes dough like a dough now i'm going to apply some vaseline on my hands because the paper mache is a little sticky are going to make be making a clay look i made all the ingredients now i am going to 
turn it into a smooth clay. Rub this in the hand powerfully so it doesn't become dry and it becomes smooth. Look, it becomes so smooth. Now we should cover it in a wet cloth and keep it in a plastic pouch and then keep it in an airtight container. Let this rest for 15 minutes then roll it out in a refill. For the next step, we took a piece of dough and we rolled this with the help of palm pressure. The pressure should be same so we get an even size of the ship. We use talcum powder to prevent the dough from sticking in palm or floor. We roll it according to the size of our refill. After that, we wrap the strip around the refill with the help of glue. We used a little bit of water to give it a smooth surface. We have not covered the end and the tip of the refill and also gave it a sharp shape near the tip of the refill. This way our pens are ready. We kept them for drying for minimum one day and for making six pens we only used one spoon of paper mache. After a few hours, the pen is completely hard. Now we are going to paint it. We are using acrylic color. I am using blue and animation is using orange. You can use any color you like. We are using blue and orange. Ah, you can even decorate it any way you want. Now the coloring part is over. As you can see the pen is completely dry. Now we are going to decorate it with colored thing. We have taken some glue over here and we are going to stick it in the pen. I have already left some space blank just for the decorating decoration. Now I am going to wrap the string around the pen. Now the decoration part is over. I have decorated my pen like this and I have decorated the pen a little differently. The benefits of this pen is it's that it's decomposable and it's made from old notebooks which is difficult to decompose because we can use the newspapers as a bag but we can't use the notebooks. This is also eco-friendly. Once the refill runs out, you can place it in a pot and the paper mache will decompose. Now we will test this pen out in the notebook.